So, Mary, any documents that Magnuson has concerning yourself you want extracted and returned? Why would you help me? Because you saved my life. Sorry, sorry, what? She can feel what them. happened on you, Magnuson? You had a problem. More specifically, you had a witness. The solution, of course, was simple. Kill us both and leave. However, sentiment got the better of you. One precisely calculated shot to incapacitate me in the hope that it would bide you more time to negotiate my sides. Of course, you couldn't shoot Magnuson. On the night that both of us broke into the building, your own husband would become a suspect, so... Uh, that's why she didn't kill him! Uh, you calculated I was that Magnuson would use the fact of your involvement rather than sharing the information with the police, as is his MO. <laughs> Mary, she saved my life. She shot you. Uh, mixed messages I got you. That's a... Shut up. Shut up. Take it. Oh. I was not expecting this. <laughs> she really does. And the fact that right. it was planned for so Seven long years. to. <sighs> the problems of your past are your business. The problems of your future are my privilege. It's all I have to say. It's all I need to know. You don't even know my name. Is Mary Watson good enough for you? I can't. Oh my god, yes. It's good enough for me to. Cool. Okay, I can't wait till you really be happy. <laughs> oh man, I'm still gonna talk about oh, something at the end of it. I lost on base. Glad you're giving up in the Magnuson business, are you? So curious, though. It's hardly your usual kind of puzzle. Why do you hate him? Because he attacks he people who are again? different and preys on their secrets. Oh, yeah. He allows himself to too much damage to an important. It's not too intelligent for that. Are you just me? <laughs> no, that's my girl. No, that's my girl. I have, by the way, a job offer I should like you to decline. I, decline I love the dynamic. I shall pass on the parents. What was it? MI6. They want to place you back into Eastern Europe. An undercover assignment that will prove fatal to you in, I think, about six months. Then why don't you want me to take it? It's tempting. <laughs> but on balance, you have more utility closer to home. Utility? How do I have utility? Also, your loss would break my heart. <laughs> What the hell am I supposed to say to that? Nothing. Merry Christmas. You hate Christmas? Yes. Perhaps there was something in the punch. Clearly. Go and have some more. It got real for a sec, like he got shot. Do you realize that uh, Sherlock got us out? Wait. Mm. Mary. Jesus Christ. Mary. Sit down. Mary, can you hear me? Don't drink Mary's tea. Uh, all the punch. What? Did you just drug my pregnant wife? Don't worry. Wiggins is an excellent chemist. The hell have you done? Deal. The devil. Oh, uh, made a deal with Magnuson? He needs to take him down. And to take Can someone like that hospital? down, you need to take risks? I am in hospital. This is the canteen. Is it? In my opinion, yes. I want to see Apple Door. Where you keep all the secrets, all the files, everything you've got on everyone. Next I want you to invite me. Then what are you giving me for Christmas, Mr. Holmes? My brother. Oh. oh Jesus. Please tell me you haven't just gone out of your mind. I'd rather keep you guessing. Ah, there's our lift. Let me explain how leverage works, Dr. Watson. 
For those who understand these things, Mycroft Holmes is the most powerful man in the country. Mycroft's pressure point is his junkie detective brother, Sherlock. Sherlock's pressure point is his best friend, John Watson. John Watson's pressure point is his wife. I own John Watson's wife. I own Mycroft. He's what I'm getting for Christmas. It's an exchange, not a gift. In return for the password, you will give me any material in your possession pertaining to the woman I know as Mary Watson. Oh, she's bad, that one. So many dead people. I want everything you've got on Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly expected something good. Oh, I think you'll find the contents of that laptop. Include the GPS locator. By now, your brother will have noticed the theft. Security services will be converging on this house. Having arrived, they'll find top secret information in my hands. And they have every justification to search my vaults. They will discover further information of this kind, and I'll be imprisoned. You will be exonerated. Why are you smiling? Because Sherlock Holmes has made one enormous mistake. What is it? Which will destroy the lives of everyone he loves. I hate to hear this. And everything he owes dear. Let me show you the Apple Door Vaults. Whenever someone says Sherlock, Sherlock has made one big mistake, I'm like, ah, shit! You know that something is huge. The entrance to my vaults. So where are the vaults then? Vaults. What vaults? There are no vaults beneath this building. They're all in here. He's the information. The Appledore vaults are my mind palace. Oh god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'll store information so you never... I close my eyes. And down I go to my vaults. Oh my gosh, oh. that is brilliant. I can go anywhere inside my vault. I should have said coming, sir. My memories. Oh How my do you God. stop this? You, you can't. You see? You can't. Unless, Unless you, you put a bullet through his head, you can't. Knowing is only. But if you just know it, then you don't have proof. Proof? What would I need proof for? Yeah, fear is enough. I don't have to prove it, I just have to print it. Speaking of news, you'll both be heavily featured tomorrow. Trying to sell state secrets to me. Let's go outside. We'll be here shortly. Can't oh wait to see you arrested. Stand away from that man! Here we go, Mr. Holmes! To clarify, Apple Doors boats only exist in your mind, nowhere else, just there. They're not real! They never have been! They're gonna shoot him because it exists only in his head, so there's no danger of someone else using the information? No, it would be way too quick to get rid of him. I'll do your research. I'm not a hero. I'm a high-functioning sociopath. Merry Christmas! I should say, I've meant to say always and I never have. 
since it's unlikely we'll ever meet again, I might as well say it now. Sherlock is actually a girl's name. <laughs> Just name your baby Sherlock. It's not. It's worth a try. <laughs> Just call her Shirley. I can see why they could they would try to end a season like this. Like if you don't know if there's a future season, you'd be like, well. What now? <laughs> yeah. Always a surprise. How is this possible? We don't know. It's on every screen in the country, every screen simultaneously. Has the Prime Minister been told? That is simply not possible. Who is it? What's happened? <laughs> Bring him back! It? It's your brother. Mycroft. Hello, little brother. How's the exile going? I've only been gone four minutes. <laughs> well, I certainly hope you've learnt your lesson. As it turns out, you're needed. <laughs> For God's sake, make up your mind. Me this time. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Possible? Well, it could, I mean, he could be actually dead. It's Absolutely. a photo that moves. No, <laughs> he shot himself. He's supposed to be dead. It could be someone trying to pass. impersonate him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't. If it's not actually him, because I mean, it's a photo. It's a photo that moves, and the voice doesn't really sound like his, so you can just change it through a computer or something. Anyone with with a certain amount of brains could yeah. do that. So I feel like either either he's really back, and that what you're like, what the fuck, what happened on the ceiling, on, on the roof, sorry, or I think the most likely uh, theory here is that someone is basically saying, I am like the next coming Moriarty. I can. I can manipulate you, you through this. It's like the greatest adversary that Sherlock ever had. Speaking of adversary, I thought that maybe Charles Augustus Magnuson would be a great foe to be against with. Well, so sorry, that, that, make, that didn't make any sense, sorry. Some, somebody great to go against, sorry. But Te it just... Technically, he won. Technically, he won. Sherlock had to kill him, had to turn into a murderer and literally destroy him, kill him in order to make him not a threat. His entire system, his entire inform all his information that was all in his head. He played him till the, the last second, pretended that he had yeah, uh, actual files okay, to I, trade. I can understand that. You think it Maybe. was underwhelming a little bit, the it ending? Was so underwhelming. Oh, uh, it the was? way that they play, that they bring us Magnuson, this uh, the threat, the I can't speak to the threat that he represents. That, that thank you. That's right. In just one episode, everything is done after that. To be honest, though, they've done that before. Season one, even season two, before Moriarty be became the main focus. We all we, we had sometimes like no, not really. The name Moriarty was in the air. We got foe that no i know go, but uh, wait and come we had foes it's before by episode, we had foes before that were dealt with in one episode and yes moriarty usually was behind some of the schemes but the foes that we faced before have been taken care of in yeah, one episode but what i mean is like, like last episode Magnus, i know but what i mean is that magnuson seems to be a full like moriarty like mm -hmm. the big name at the end of well, i mean jokes on you for believing that i guess <laughs> But uh, actually, actually, what I loved the most about this episode was not so much the threat that re that you represented, or you know, the character yeah. in itself, more the significance of Sherlock shooting him in the head, knowing what it would do, like taking on the villain role because he had to protect his his family, sort of. Like, he yeah. had to protect the people he cared about. He had to protect John. He had to protect Mary. He had to protect his. Uh, uh, their God, babies. Goddaughter, God, 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 I love that God, 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 God,
that answer if you think about what's Sherlock's weakness we know we've always known it was John and then he continued like what's John's weakness Mary and stuff like that it's I, and I love that it, they added also Mycroft like we've known for a while that Mycroft actually cares about his, his brother he's yeah. shown signs of it even though he says the, uh, the contrary but now recently uh, in the eyes of what's been going on him getting shot him almost dying fighting Moriarty and the problems that it that they faced now he's more open about his emotions and Sherlock dealing with what's with John a lot he's been opening up as as well and I love that he's kind of uh, showing Mycroft what to do they had a great conversation <laughs> a few episodes ago about how Mycroft should um open up maybe find some friends because he's incredibly lonely yeah. and I love that Sherlock was basically the same but he's learned of this about his, about this mistake and he's allowed himself to be close to John and yes a lot of the time people use that as a weakness and they use it against him but I find that it it makes him stronger in a way <laughs> basically he survived the blood wounds because he thought about John because but yeah he thought about his Mary friends Mary didn't shoot him so that he could die that's true but, but but still in the moment it's the fact that he had friends that he listened to that he cared about that he could remember in this moment because it, it happened so fast yeah it's because of, of his friends that he managed to to react correctly to, to sure. getting shot and uh, I love that Minecraft is kind of taking on that cue and letting him know a little more here and there that he cares and I love that they just juxtaposed him as a kid in this episode because that's what he sees like it's the little brother he grew up with the little brother he took care of the one that needs to be shown the way yeah. and taught what to do because but even though he's an adult now he's always gonna be the little brother like that's that's how it works <laughs> like I I pers I'm the, the oldest in our family with my little brother and her and um I cannot see you and and Sam as like adults never like if my uh, the day my brother is gonna drive because he doesn't drive yet it's gonna be like mind-blowing oh, to me can drive, just gonna have his i've never yet. seen him drive so when it's gonna happen i'm gonna be like oh no no you're, you're 13 in my in my head <laughs> same with you the first time you drove and, and all the other stuff that happens like we don't see our siblings as grown-ups there you're always gonna be like the little siblings the little brothers and little sisters it's funny because we're just like a little bit more than one year apart. I don't care. You're younger. That's, that's not far enough to be seen as oldest and youngest. To me it is. So I love that Minecraft is going through that process of watching his brother and seeing the little kid that he mm -hmm. used to take care of. And by the way, I love the dynamic with the parents whenever they're together. <laughs> so Those are Benedict Cumberbatch's parents, they're, Yeah, right? they're supposed to be. Yeah, and, I can... Uh, I can uh, see the resemblance with the dad now that now that we know we kind of look for the for it and i i i mean the dad really looks like him so i'm like yay but uh yeah that was cool so yeah i think this episode is kind of underwhelming at the end mm -hmm. except for the re return of moriarty which was like what the fuck <laughs> i i i wondered if they were going to end like you know with them going away with this with this plane because they've never done that before they always kind of open the door for a possible future in this show yeah. and uh, I was like ah, it could be a way for them to end this and but we know there's another season so what like they were gonna end this there and we were just gonna accept that well he's gonna come back of course but no they had to bring him back right away with Moriarty and that was that was cool oh and it's great also like when Moriarty got introduced he was intelligent like he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with with Sherlock true but it's also nice to have another bad guy who can basically do the same thing as Sherlock it's, it's slightly different like he reads people he reads information and stuff in a way that is similar but different enough to be entertaining and and I, I love it. I love it when we meet other people like Sherlock. Like he's great, but he's not the only you one. You know what I'm thinking that. right now? Because usually when we saw Sherlock points of view when he's in his mind palace when he's reading people. Observing people. No, sorry. We saw him. Now we saw Magnuson doing the same like reading like a computer. I would have liked to see the same with Moriarty. Through his own eyes, how he's reading people, how he's reading and observing the situation, what what's what's happening right now in front mm. of him. We never really got his POV. No, never. All right, now the subject of the episode, Mary. <laughs> oh God! So she worked for the CIA. She, she's an assassin. She was. She worked for a lot of people. I'm guessing. Probably some 
spy agent from the Britain, uh, Britain government or something. Or, or any governments, because apparently it's not even her main accent. Yeah. So, I love but that... But according to John, it doesn't matter. I love that they've been planting clues about who she really was since the beginning. And we just thought that, oh, she can keep up, like, she's she's cool. But no, there's actually more to that <laughs> than just her keeping up. Oh, man. I love the details. Like, this show, one thing that came to my mind when I watched this episode is how great the writing is on this show. Every little detail is accounted for. Every storyline, they think about everything. Every the character comes back. The I know, but they do the, they do it so well. Because it, okay, it, 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 there's it's one thing to create a character that t that can think uh, so many steps ahead and that can you know decipher stuff, but it takes someone really intelligent to think of his his my, his process. Even though you know how it ends, you need to think of the process how in a believable way, you know? Yeah. And they do it so well. And they, they impress us. Even though you can go from point A to point B, if you don't know how to go from one to the other... Without making it unbelievable. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, but you, they do it you well. You need to be sure that the story is still understandable and still realizable? Realistic. Uh, realistic, yeah, yeah sorry. Anyway, so yeah, I thought it, it might not be my favorite episode, but it was still like, there were a lot of stuff oh, happening that, that I found was, great. Sorry, I'm just a little bit dumb about the fact that Magnuson is still dead. And Magnuson's dead marries Revelation, basically. That was the best part. That was me. the best part, but I think that I would have preferred maybe to be on two episodes for that, even though that it's one and a half. One hour because and a half. you wanted, because you wanted the Magnus thing to be bigger. But I w yes, I would have loved for it to be bigger, but maybe just see more of it because it was an, an and it was, it a was an interesting character enough. And the problem with Mary wasn't deal enough to my this, I guess. Did that make yeah. sense? Well, you, you you're allowed. Well, it's not because they're good that they can they, they they can be perfect all the time. You know, I also felt like the ending was a bit underwhelming, especially for a finale. But I'm not gonna like I'm, maybe just a little would have been great if it's just about about Mary's revelation and her past and to do something about it. I mean, to be honest, it still beats Game of Thrones. So, <laughs> 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 so I mean, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not complaining. Like it was great. It wasn't perfect, but it was good. Mm -hmm. And the acting is still amazing, so... Like, especially that montage of him, like, trying to figure out how he was gonna react to the bullet. Like, just falling, and how how do you fall, and how, what do you do? That entire montage was so cool. So cool, acting-wise, and, and editing-wise, and just... Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed all the time when I watch this show. <laughs> okay, you wanna move on? Yeah, I sure do. I sure do. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one, which is going to be the bonus episode, I think it's the Abominable... Ab Abominable... Bride? Yeah, something like that. Uh, check Patreon. It's going to be there already. The link is in the description. And if not, with the next one to be out on YouTube, which will be next week, guys. Yes. So see you then. Bye. Bye-bye.